night. He was sitting alone by the gold again. They say it's a long night, but Peter was suddenly woken up by the telephone. It's the driver. Bad things come again. The reason is that the excavator is too heavy. Transportation takes time, so he has to wait a few more days and persuade Peter not to give up. Be sure to guard the gold. Just then, suddenly a truck passed by. Pete is carrying a piece of gold and ready to call for help. Unexpectedly, he hesitated again. The greedy nature still defeated his reason. That's it. The truck slowly walked away. Peter continues to gather firewood to make a fire, but the sudden sandstorm is coming. He hurried into the camp. Don't forget to hold the gold in his arms. But the wind is too strong. Not for a moment. The camp was blown apart. After the sandstorm, Pete wakes up in the desert. Now there is a branch beside him, and still endure great pain. Go to check the condition of gold. After seeing the intact gold, he pulled out the branch on his body. Then burn red iron sheet to heal the wound. Under severe pain, he frothed at the mouth and fainted. Not a moment later, he was woken up by the telephone again. Go to answer the phone in pain. After reporting the situation here, Pete raises his head. He saw the woman again. So this woman is her sister. She's here to find her elder sister. Pete looks at the grave not far away, afraid of being discovered. Refused the woman's offer of help. Get angry and drive her away. Next second, his decision made him totally regret it. The wolves have surrounded him. The driver said he was almost there. And what Peter didn't think of was, on a hilltop not far away, a pair of eyes have been staring at him for four or five days. And this man is the driver. 